All right, what we're going to be doing today, we are going to be looking at the steps of to how to use a microscope in the classroom. We're going to be looking at a lot of microscopic organisms in the class. And so we want to make sure we know how to use the microscope correctly so we can take a closer look at these little critters. And so one of the things I want to make sure we understand is that um, the microscope allows us to see that something that we wouldn't normally be able to see with our, our eyes. And so that's something that it's a tool that needs special training. And so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to have that special training. So one of the things, if you oftentimes you think of a fly, you think of something that's kind of annoying, it's buzzing by you. But if you take a look at it under the microscope, it's super cool. You can see that the actual fly eye is a compound eye. And the reason why I'm mentioning a compound eye is because we're going to be using a compound microscope. So when we look at the actual fly, you'll see that here we have the eye. The eye actually is made up of many lenses that are put together to help the actual fly be able to visualize its surroundings. Well, a compound microscope, one that we're going to be using in the classroom, is more than just a simple microscope. It has m several lenses that we're going to be looking through. We're going to be looking through what's called the eyepiece, and then it's also going to go ahead and direct our vision through what's called an objective lens. That way it magnifies what we're seeing more than a typical just one lens. It's actually magnifying twice. And so one of the things that we're going to eventually learn is we're going to eventually learn what magnification is and how to calculate it. But what we're just focusing on today is really more the parts and how to go ahead and use the microscope. So this is um, just the basic notes for the different parts of a microscope. I'm not going to go ahead and go through and explain this on this video. This is something that you'll be able to find on the MPMS 7th grade science website. So if you just go under resources, which is right across from the actual flip uh, link, you'll be able to actually see the, the notes. So you can go ahead and access those there at any time. What we're really going to do is we're going to focus on these steps. So how to use the microscope. One of the first things you want to make sure you do is you plug it in. This is actually a microscope that uses electricity. I know some of you guys have used microscopes in the past that use light and uh, a mirror to be able to reflect the light from the sunlight to the actual microscope. But we have um, the ability to actually just plug it in so we don't, we're not dictated by where the sun is. So you want to make sure it's plugged in, and you want to make sure it's turned on. I know that seems silly, but that's something you want to double check, because if you come down to, you do all the steps and it's still not working, it may just be because you haven't turned it on. Once you plug it in, you turn it on, you want to make sure that you have the short red objective lens pointing down. So that's right there. And you want to make sure, the reason why you want to do that is because oftentimes, the next stage step where you're supposed to move the stage up, if you have one of the others pointing down, the stage will actually go past the point of where those objective lenses are coming down and you can actually break or shatter one of those other objective lenses. So we really want to make sure we're just going ahead and having the red one pointing down. Those are the first four steps. Now the next step we want to do is once we have that set up, we want to put the slide on the stage. We want to then look through the eyepiece, and we want to move the course adjustment knob, which is the big knob. That's going to go ahead and slowly move the stage down so that we can actually start to see the image in our field of view. Once you see the image in the field of view, then you're going to use your fine adjustment knob, which is the little knob. You're going to use that to get into the details, to be able to fine focus it, sharpen the image, and be able to really see the item that you're trying to, to, to view. Now, oftentimes we're going to want to use the yellow, which is the 10 power objective lens, or the blue, which is the 40 power objective lens. We're going to, we're going to possibly want to use those. So we need to make sure that we go ahead and follow those eight steps, plug it in, make sure it's turned on, make sure that you have the short objective lens pointing down and the stage is moved all the way up. You want to make sure that you have all of those things done. And then what you're going to do is after you have the field, the item in the field of view and it's perfect and you can see it clearly, that's when you're going to go ahead and switch your objective lens. Only when you can actually see the item in clear view under the red objective lens are you going to switch it. Lastly, you never, ever, ever use the course adjustment knob when you're trying to get, um, when you're trying to use 
the yellow objective lens or the blue objective lens, when the 10 power objective lens or the 40 power objective lens. Because you don't want to move the stage. You just want to sharpen the, the image. You don't actually want to go ahead and move the stage at all or move the stage much. So you want to make sure that you're remembering all those steps that we have this down in our notes, that we practice this. But again, you want to make sure you remember the key points. Otherwise, you could get into a hairy situation. This is a sample of a hair that has split ends. There's a reason why you want to use conditioner. Otherwise, your hair looks like this. So we don't want to be in any hairy situations. We want to make sure that we're going ahead and using microscope uh, correctly so that we can actually see your babies on Monday. Make sure you guys are ready to go, and we will see you in class. Take care. Bye.